The outlet proclaimed itself organ of the oppressed while it challenged the foundations of racism in a nation fresh off of a revolution. The most radical media entity of the Reconstruction era, it vowed to spare no means in promoting equality for all people of African descent. Keying in on racial democracy, the New Orleans Tribune made its debut on July 1st, 21st, I'm sorry, 1864. That would be today, July 21st. Although it only operated for six years, the newspaper published more than a thousand powerful transformative issues. The paper was an important political tool in the campaign for social justice in one of the South's most crucial cities. It was very influential in getting Reconstruction era laws passed in Louisiana and became the most liberal outlet for black people anywhere. The paper actively participated in all manner of political debates and played a major role in the creation of the 1868 Louisiana State Constitution. It also helped many black politicians win seats in the state legislature. News in the Tribune was reprinted in several northern newspapers like the Chicago Tribune and Philadelphia Inquirer. From Europe to the North, it informed a wide range of audiences about the treatment of blacks during the trying period of Reconstruction. The Tribune was founded and financed by Dr. Louis Charles Rudinet. While, the, while studying in Paris, Rudinet was inspired by the French Revolution of 1848, which abolished slavery and gave men of color the right to vote. With Rudinet leading, the publication offered a view on race, politics, and history that was boldly and defiantly ahead of its time. So today, we celebrate the legacy of the New Orleans Tribune by sharing one of its many mottos. The actual liberation from social and political bondage is unity of thought. And that is for the culture. Thank you and good night.